Then let's look at let's erase some of this. Remember last time we talked about a capacitor, and we said that inside a capacitor we have, if we're close enough, if the if the plates are large enough, and the gap between them is small enough, we can make a situation where we have a uniform electric field. Okay, so that's what I'm I'm doing here. I have two plates, two discs that are parallel to each other, and they're very long, so these extend upward. And this separation between them is small compared to their size. Okay, so then inside, I have an electric field pointing in this direction, and it's uniform. So it's just a constant electric field. And I have a positive charge that enters into this, uh, inside this uh, gap of this capacitor. 